Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today, we're working on this fifth wheel trailer right here. Uh, customer says he has no HVAC system. Uh, the air conditioner won't work and furnace won't work. Um, we've been here just a few minutes and uh, made some uh, preliminary observations. So let's, uh, let's take you along, because I don't know what's wrong with it yet. Uh, like I said, I've made a couple of observations. We'll show you what those are. And uh, uh, Cameron, he is going to talk more today. Right, Cameron? Yes. See, you already talk more. I mean, we're already ahead, people. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> uh, the first thing I noticed was this is an old uh, Coleman uh, wireless remote system. That's your uh, thermostat. And uh, whenever I push a button, I get a little symbol, a little triangle symbol up there in the corner. So first thing I want to do is put a couple of fresh batteries in this remote. And then I also found something else. Uh, on my preliminary investigation. So we'll try this first. All right, I replaced the batteries and that symbol did not go away. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that or not. Uh, it's up in this left-hand corner, it's a triangle. So it just seems weird whenever I change, try and change modes or anything. So now, second thing I found was we have a bad fuse there. Can you see that little LED light glowing red? So one of those, one of those 15 amp fuses, one of those 15 amp fuses are bad. Let's see, I think it's, oh, I wonder if it's got a bad contact. The light went out. This fuse is good. Okay, uh, the fuse was not bad. It was just not making good contact. So I pulled it in and out a couple times and it seems to be okay. Uh, found a secret door on this remote. So I am, uh, I'm looking at it right now. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's, uh, you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius and check the room temperature. Uh, it says it's 82 in here. And yeah, I know there's some other programming to do here. It's been a long, long time since I've seen one of these. So um, I guess the next thing to do is go up there to the control box and see uh, see what's going on because we got no no functions at all. So we'll be right back. <sighs> yeah, we uh we came over here to the to the, near the control box. This is the sensor for that. Uh, wireless remote we had no lights on this i think we should have had a system light flashing um, so uh, cameron now is okay. trying to get the control box or j box as coleman calls it down out there so we can look at it and uh check some powers and stuff see what we have see if we have our 12 volts see if we got our because i think since um since this is just a wireless remote, I believe uh, there should be 12 volt up here to run this run these controls. So we'll we'll get that thing down there and check all that stuff. All right, we'll get this cover off this J box. We do have a flashing green LED up here. So we do have a flashing green LED. I don't know what that means right yet. It's labeled diag. Oh, is it? Was it? Probably diagnose or something. Uh-huh. Okay, well, camera says that's labeled diag. Oh, okay, I was trying to read it upside down. So, I don't know. You think a green light would be good? Maybe a flashing green light's no good. Okay, so camera's gonna hold the meter. Maybe or maybe not, you'll be able to see it. Uh, I think this is going to be our 12 volt positive. What do we got, Cameron? 14.4. That's awesome. Let me check the ground. So this B minus should be the ground. 14.4. Okay, so we got 12 volt up here to this control box. Um, 
let's see if put it on the AC scale let's see if we have AC power up here I kind of expect we do let's see if I can get in there we got 123 123 alright so we got power up here um, I guess at this point um, I'm gonna have to either call Coleman and they're probably gonna tell me this stuff's obsolete <laughs> or um, maybe I have to get on the internet and see what I can find out but uh, I've got something to report we'll be right back all right I am on uh, I'm on hold with Coleman technical assistance probably have been for oh let me see here for 10 minutes um, thought while we was uh, while we was waiting on them um, cuz see this is this is wired a whole lot more like a dometic a modern dometic air conditioner cuz we got DC power and ground up here and our furnace wires so just for grins and giggles while I was on hold I unhooked the uh, the two wires that were marked furnace off the control box touched them together furnace ran I didn't see if it lit, but it did run. And now we're going to do the same thing uh, with the air conditioner. Um, I'm going to start with the compressor, see if the compressor will actually run, and see if the fan will run. Because if none of that's going to happen, then I can hang up. So we're going to have to do something different. Um, just going to use a jumper wire. Uh, kids, don't try this at home. And uh, I'm going to uh, hook one end of the jumper wire. I've got my jumper wire here. Oh. So I'm going to hook my jumper wire to the to the AC power coming in, and I'm going to hook it other end to the compressor terminal. And then I'm going to let Cameron cut that breaker on. Okay, so Cameron's going to cut that breaker on us. Listen here. Okay, you can cut it off. Okay, so the compressor runs. And he turned that breaker back off. So, we are going to hook this back up. Hook the compressor back up. I'm going to hook one of the fan wires. Doesn't matter which one. One's red, one's black, one's high fan, one's low fan. Uh, just gonna pick the red one. I'm gonna hook it. Hook my jumper wire to that. I kind of expect it's probably gonna run. Go ahead, Cam. Yeah, okay. All right. So we know the air conditioner will function. So we've got we've got control issues here, and I, I'm really afraid that this control box is going to be obsolete. Um, like I say, it has been. This is about a 20 year old camper. It has been a long, long time since I seen one of these wireless remotes. So still on hold with Coleman. Um, we might have to just pull the plug on this one today and I might have to try and get some more information, see if we can get a control box and come back. I don't know, uh, but uh, we'll be back when we know something. All right, been on hold for Coleman for just under 30 minutes. As soon as we get to 30 minutes, I'm hanging up. Uh, Cameron's been on Amazon looking at this uh, part number for this J-Box and it uh, appears to be obsolete, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, someone did comment though that there's a uh, he went to a dealer or something and they said well here's the control box you need so he's looking that up right now and he's shaking his head the wrong way he's, yeah, he's yeah. not shaking it this way he's shaking it this way so what you got cam it's not wireless it's not wireless yeah. <laughs> oh awesome is it i don't even think that's Compatible, I don't know. Look at that. That's a modern J box. Yeah. That's what I got on the truck. Okay, well, this 
This sounds like this is going to be a uh, long, grown-out affair. Uh, sounds like we're going to have to do a bunch of wiring like uh, <laughs> I tell people not to do. Because uh, we're basically... Uh, I don't know whether it would be easier to put a Dometic control and a thermostat in this. Uh, since we have our power and ground and our... Um, I don't know, does, uh, I'm going to have to go get a domatic control box, a digital thermostat control box, see if it'll plug in that upper unit, see if it's the same wire code, but we'll actually may not be that bad. We just have to run an external wire across the ceiling down the wall for the, for the thermostat. So, um, go check on that. I'll get right back with you and let you know what I find. Yeah, okay, we checked the Dometic control box. Uh, yeah, totally not compatible. Coleman uses a nine pin connector. Uh, Dometic uses a six pin connector for that uh, control box, J box. And um, so, yeah, I was just thinking out loud and um, gee, I was thinking wrong. Uh, that's never happened before, but uh, yeah, I just, like I say, I'm just thinking out loud, trying to figure out uh, how we could possibly get this thing going today and uh, yeah, it's just, just not going to happen today at all. All right. So, uh, as you can hear, I'm still on hold with Coleman. I thought, well, just... All agents are currently on the phone. If you would like to receive a call back without losing your place in line, please press 1. It don't do any good to leave a call, leave a voicemail. Um, yeah, so we've been thinking here. Um, yeah, in order to... Uh, to change this from uh, this old uh, obsolete J box control box, we'd have to put a modern J box on it. We'd have to therm put a thermostat, probably just right here. We'd have to probably just run some wires across the ceiling through some wire hider thingies down the wall. This would be the absolute easiest place to do it and put the uh, put thermostat right here. Uh, but we'd have to run because see our power and our ground and our furnace wires are up there, which is backwards for Coleman. Um, Coleman, your power and ground and your furnace wires should be at your thermostat. So we'd have to run, run wires across for all that and then wires back for the control box. It can be done, um, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna talk this over with the customer so um, as as Cameron said just now, it can be done, but uh, you know it, it's not going to be easy. Um, and I don't have wire holder on the wire holder, wire hider and stuff on the truck with me, so we'd have to come back. So uh, we're going to go talk to the customer and uh, see what he wants to do, because sometimes folks, you know, we we go out here and we try and fix stuff, but sometimes you just can't fix stuff. Um, not first try so um, we'll see what he wants to do and uh, uh, we're just gonna wrap this video um, you know we've, we've showed you what we found uh, we've tested it uh, that it seems like the air conditioner will run so uh, we'll just have to see what the customer says and uh, if he wants it to we'll come back and we'll finish this repair so uh, got anything to add Cam? Uh, I think that's all so you know it sucks but sometimes you just can't fix stuff. So yeah. um, we're gonna go fix something else, hope. <laughs> um, it's good to fix things when you're a service guy. Uh, we're gonna go do that and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.